Hello everybody and welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. I'm coming at you guys today with a little makeup look, specifically this one right here. I want to do something as an homage to spring. We're officially in it. I'm loving it. I'm loving the warm weather and the flowers and everything like that. So I want to do a little pop of color a nice glossy lip, something a little playful if you know what I mean. But if you guys like this look and you would like to see how I created it, then please keep watching. First up, primer. Today we're going in with the Vapor Stratus Instant Skin Perfector in the stick form. This is in the shade 902, so it's the whiter one, but once I blend it in, it goes away. Um, I love this to fill in pores and just give myself a really smooth base to work with, especially just there in the center of my face. Then I'm following up with the Well People Biotint SPF 50, and I'm in the shade Light. I've done a full review of this if you guys have seen it. If not, I'll check it in the description box down below. But I love this stuff. has really, really decent coverage in the, as far as tinted moisturizers go, and I love applying it with just my hands, so it's super quick and easy as well. And it builds on itself pretty nicely, so go for it. It's really, really simple, and you can see it's covering quite a bit and is a pretty good shade match as well. Then I go in with the Well People BioCorrect Concealer, again in the shade Light. You guys know I love this stuff. I think I officially used the last drop here in this video. Very sad, but I will be repurchasing like right now. And I just like to blend that in with my finger as well. You see I take it down in a triangle shape just to cover up the redness around my nose as well as the darkness under my eyes. And I'll also take that underneath my chin as well. Then following up with the Delium Tool 787 brush and the Well People Bio Brightener Powder, I am just going to cover the places that I just put concealer, make sure they're set, especially the eyelids so I have sort of a base to work with, and then underneath the eyes so they don't crease, and I'll hit my chin again as well because that's where I put concealer. Then with the Delium Tools 964 brush and the 100% Pure Cocoa Pigmented Bronzer, you know I love that stuff so, so much. It makes you look so bronze, which I really need here in this video. And I'm taking that just into the cheekbones as usual. And then I'm also going to hit the temple and underneath the jawline. All the usual places, nothing new here. Then with the Delium Tools 942 brush, I'm taking the Antonym Cosmetics Endless Summer Highlighter. It's meant to be a highlighter, but as you guys can see, it's way too dark on me as a highlighter. So I'm just going to wear it as a blush today. It's very natural. It makes you, again, look sort of suntanned. I really like that sort of look. If you have a deeper skin, use it as a highlight. It's beautiful. Following up with the Delium Tools 785 brush and Cure Weiss Press Shadow in Charmed, I'm just starting at the crease like I often do, just to give a little definition there. Then I'm going to do a little mixture of Magnetic and Grace. Not too warm, not too cool sort of mixture. And you're going to see I'm just adding a little bit more precision and depth there. The brush does all the work for you. You don't really have to work too hard but just really take the time to nestle that into the end of the crease and just back and forth motions to help blend it out. Then I'm going in with the Delium Tools 934 brush, just a sort of a flat synthetic brush. And this is the Gressa Oreo Eye Tint. This is that sparkling sort of golden champagne. It is so beautiful. It's a really nice contrast to the sort of brown that we just put in our lid as well. So you're going to see I'm just working on building this up, making it really even, not quite doing a cut crease. It's not that dramatic, but definitely adding the definition there where necessary. And I'm just really taking my time to do this and see I'm just sort of carving it out, going back and forth. And you'll see what a big difference this sort of neat application makes between the two eyes and really just makes them look wide and fresh. Then I'm going to go in with this little more tapered round blending brush from Delium Tools. And I'm taking Cure Weiss Earthy Calm. This is just a matte dark brown. And you can see I'm nestling this just in the outer corner. I'm keeping it very nice and tight and precise just like that. And then I will take my um, Delium Tools 785 brush and sort of blending it out. But here I'm just showing you again. Really, really precise. Almost like framing that sort of outer corner with this dark shade and then we're going to blend it out because you can see it looks pretty hard because of how precise I had placed it. 
Moving along to the Gressa Cream Shadow Brush and the Envy Eye Tint, really, really beautiful. I just want a little pop of color in this look, something a little bit fresh and easy. So I'm taking this green just underneath the bottom lashes. This green isn't so crazy intense, it's more of a light green. So it's just a subtle nod to spring, but I feel very, very comfortable with it. And if you just wanted to continue the brown, it would look really pretty as well, but I think the green makes it very spring appropriate. Now I'm switching it up. It's not my usual Hint Beauty Nocturne, although that stuff is amazing. Today I'm just going to be using the Lily Lolo Mascara. Another great one and another favorite of you guys. It has more of a bristly brush, so it makes my lashes look very nice and separated. And then, yeah, I'm holding that lip gloss upside down. Excuse that, but it is the shade Bitten Pink. One of my favorites from Lily Lolo, and that is how I'm going to top off the look. All right, you guys, that is it. This is my completed spring look. I really hope you guys like it. I think it's super wearable. I think it's super fresh and easy as well. Um, if you could, if you want to take away the green and put brown, it would look really beautiful as well. And you know I cannot stray from a glossy lip. I mean, year-round, but especially in the spring and summer. But if you guys were curious about any of these products or you love all of them, they're all going to be linked in that description box down below. And if you guys have any questions on the products, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to check us out over on social media. We're everywhere. It's in the description box every single week. And like this video and subscribe because you'll see my face here every single Monday and Friday and I don't want you guys to miss it. But thank you so much for watching as always. If you would like a more simple makeup look next time around, let me know because I know my 10 makeup look was, my 10 minute makeup look was very well received with you guys. But thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!